well, we have a, a little park in our neighborhood that Chance uh, likes to go play at. Yeah. And uh, he, he left to go at, you know, right after he got home from school. And he generally comes back within 15 minutes at most. So when about 20, 25 minutes had gone by, I went to go look for him. So I went out into the neighborhood and I found his bike you know, a few blocks over in an empty lot, no chance. So that's when I started to kind of worry. And in my job, you know, we don't tend to see a lot of the good stuff. So my mind was racing as far as what could have possibly happened. And uh, that's when I called uh, Officer Neil Schultz, we're neighbors, um, to come help me look for chance. And so we probably had uh, three quarters of the neighborhood out looking, out looking for him. I started to go to different places outside of the subdivision, and that's when I got a phone call from from Officer Schultz saying that uh, he had found uh, Chance and that Mike had stopped to, to help him. Um, I was in shock. I was pretty scared. So it was. I kind of put something in my head and I kind of envisioned something, and it wasn't going to look good. So. <laughs> I kind of just went with my instincts or did what I had to. So. Does it shock you as much as everybody else that uh, Mr. Coos was the only one that stopped that day? You know, I, I'd like to say that it, it it makes me sad, but I'm not overly surprised that, uh, you know, like I said, it, it's hard to, to not be a little pessimistic with this job because you do see a lot of the bad stuff. But uh, it. It's amazing that he did stop. So we will forever be grateful to Mike. <laughs>